Will the Baltimore Orioles be able to stave off elimination after losing on Tuesday afternoon in game one of the wild card series against Kansas City, one to nothing? This is a best of three series. So it's win or go home for Baltimore on Wednesday. In Kansas City, will they be able to continue their magical season by eliminating Baltimore and advancing to the ALDS? I have the answers to both of those questions and my analysis and pick coming up very shortly. Just a couple friendly reminders, folks. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is absolutely free to do so, we're Wager Talk TV. I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, we have some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV. And also, folks, uh, once you subscribe by hitting that subscribe button below, uh, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. Also, I would kindly ask that you hit that like button below. It's just a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put in to bring you a quality free pick video each and every day and putting you on the winning side on a majority of the occasions since I began with Wager Talk back in mid-March. And I want to appreciate, I do appreciate, I should say, all the support that a lot of you out there have given me through that course of time. All right, let's get to the matter at hand, and that's uh, the Baltimore Orioles and Kansas City Royals Camden Yards on Wednesday afternoon with a 4.38 p.m. Eastern Time scheduled start. And uh, right now at DraftKings, and I am recording, it's around 7.33 p.m. Eastern Time on uh, Tuesday, uh, October 1st. And this game doesn't go till tomorrow afternoon. So, again, this line will be subject to change depending on when you view the video. Right now, DraftKings is telling me Baltimore is a minus- 135 money line home favorite, and the total in this game is seven and a half. Kansas City coming off that one nothing win yesterday behind brilliant pitching by starter Cole Ray Reagans, who went six innings, allowed zero in runs, obviously, uh, on four hits and struck out eight. And the bullpen for Kansas City continues to perform well. They allowed one earned run on one hit and two walks and three innings pitch. The Kansas City bullpen now over their last eight games has compiled a 0.56 ERA. That's getting it done, folks. However, here's the concern with the Royals. Although they won the game one nothing yesterday, they continue to struggle offensively. Kansas City has scored a combined 21 runs over their last 12 games. And, folks, that amounts to only 1.75 runs per game. Uh, over that course of time. And if you continue that lack of offensive production, which the Royals have shown basically over the last two weeks, sooner or later it's going to catch up to you. Now the Orioles will be playing with a high degree of urgency and desperation to keep their season alive on Wednesday afternoon. And they're scheduled to pitch uh, Zach Eflin uh, tomorrow and or Wednesday afternoon, I should say, depending on when you view this video, it's tomorrow uh, if you're viewing it tonight, uh, Zach Eflin, seven and four in his home team starts with a 266 ERA, a 108 whip, and uh, averaging 6.2 innings pitch per start. Those are solid numbers. And the Baltimore bullpen, who struggled in the latter half of the season, uh, they're well rested. They only had to pitch one inning yesterday because their starter, Corbin Burns, uh, pitched really well eight innings, and he only allowed one earned run. Yet uh, he has nothing to show for it. But my point is, as much as Baltimore's bullpen has struggled, they pitched one inning of scoreless baseball yesterday. Uh, they only pitched one inning oh, since Sunday. So this is a rested bullpen, and they'll have no excuses. And I fully expect Zach Eflin to put together a strong effort and uh, pitch between six and seven innings uh, on Wednesday afternoon against Kansas City. And Eflin, by the way, uh, in his career home starts, uh, 51 and 32 his teams are when he's a starting pitcher at home, and that's a 614 win percentage. So something to keep in mind there. Now, Seth Lugo is getting to start for the Kansas City Royals, and he's had a really good season, and he's especially been good over his last seven starts or so. Really good form during that course of time. 
But here's the caveat. He's going to be facing a Baltimore team that's 91 and 72 overall with a 558 win percentage. Why do I even mention that? Well, Lugo, over his career in his road team starts, is 4 and 16 against opponents with a win percentage of 540 to 620. That's not good whatsoever. And Lugo has made one start against Baltimore this year, and it wasn't a good one, folks, as he went five and a third innings pitch, allowed four earned runs on nine hits, including two home runs. So I just think the Orioles uh, will come out on top here. I think they'll get to Seth Lugo. I think they'll get a strong effort out of Zach Eflin, and he'll be able to shorten uh, the Baltimore bullpen in terms of how much they're needed, which is key. But like I said, the Baltimore bullpen, very rested, just one innings pitch since Sunday. So I like the Baltimore Orioles here. Minus 135 on the money line over Kansas City to even this series up at 1-1. By the way, folks, these free picks are great, right? We went 8-1 and one in the last two weeks with these free picks in the NFL. Uh, however, uh, my Major League Baseball premium picks yesterday uh, cashed in as we did have the Kansas City Royals uh, plus 133. And we also had uh, we also had the Detroit Tigers plus 135. So two solid money line underdog winners yesterday. And that makes me uh, plus $1,318 uh, with my MLB postseason picks since last season. And uh, again, folks, I'll have another Major League Baseball, at least one Major League Baseball premium pick uh, up on Wednesday. So be sure to check my direct link, wt.buzz uh, slash RB. Don't forget, folks, I have a 5% top play winner. Until midnight tonight, you can get that play for just $5. And uh, hopefully you get that before 11.59 p.m. Pacific time tonight. It's only $5 because once the clock strikes midnight, it goes up to $35. And even at that price, folks, it's a great value because my college football since uh, December 3rd of 2022, 98 and 67, good for 59% and a net profit of $8,632 since the start of last season. I'm number one in college football at Wager Talk in terms of money earned and also um, number three in win percentage at 58% during that course of time. And uh, by the way, that 98 and 67 run since uh, December 3rd of 2022 in college football is good for 59%. So folks uh, making a lot of money at a very good percentage. And also uh, keep in mind, uh, my college football Saturday picks, 11 and 4 over the last three Saturdays. Don't miss the UNLV Syracuse 5% top play. By the way, my 5% top plays or best bets, whatever way you want to term it as. Uh, how about uh, 26 and 13, 67% since February the 4th? Until tomorrow, uh, I'm Ross Benjamin for Wager Talk TV and myself. Take care and God bless, folks.